Rollers are permitted in the class. Colby Seth leading us off right here in this 3-0 diesel pickup class. Each one of these trucks weighing in at 8,000 pounds. DOT stamp street tires. No bar tires allowed in the class. Must be DOT stamped and uncut tires just like you get on your truck at home or you may have driven here this afternoon. Three hundred seventeen point oh seven feet. Three seventeen point oh seven. For Colby Seth out of Farmington, Iowa. Now he is the first puller. He is a test puller. He has the option. Would be tough to turn that down when you get out there that far past three hundred oh, foot. Oh, you bet. Into the Apple Store on your iPhone. Punch in Outlaw Pulling. It'll bring up the app for six dollars and ninety nine cents. You can follow the event this afternoon live right here. Brent Jureski, the off again Dodge pickup. Looks like he's going to come up short for the distance needed to overtake Colby Seth there. That's, that truck running a six cylinder Cummins diesel engine. The engines in this class limited to that of a, a diesel engine offered in any one ton or smaller pickup. They can interchange the engines between manufacturers. It just must be an engine that was offered in a pickup up to one ton. Single three-inch turbocharger. These guys, a lot of them, most of them running air over water intercoolers. Keep those exhaust gas temperatures down. What they do is they pack the weight bars, the weight brackets up front on either side, usually on either side of those, are filled with ice colders last season as well. So this is a tough truck, yeah. whether Dylan's driving or his wife Jenna is driving. Yeah. Now these folks are kind of down my part of the country. I hauled a lot of corn right past these people's houses last fall. traction out there Fred up there on the big end of the track just like it was late last night they just kept on chugging up there doesn't look like he got out there where he needed to be the sketchy hooker Chevrolet pickup still in the lead at 317.07 we'll get that official distance here in just a moment for Dylan Lemka Two hundred ninety six point one nine feet, two ninety six point one nine for Dylan Lemka and lights out. All right. I got a John Deere coming up to the line right here, folks. Some of the Brian Stahl at a Claremont, Missouri Chevrolet pickup called Spooled Up V eight six point six liter Duramax. Good pull for Ryan Stahl. Looks like he was going to come up a little bit short. If you look at that leader mark over there on the east side, that checkered flag, they'll line that up with the buckboard with the front of the sled. It looks like he is going to come up a little short. Had to beat 317.07 feet. Ryan Stahl goes 295.44 feet. 295.44, good enough. They are trying to get there, but nobody's got there yet, and they've only got one shot left here. Skyler Leeper looks like he's going to come up short. Yeah, 
I don't think it's going to get that sketch of Hooker that's sitting there at 317, zero at seven. Two hundred ninety point nine zero feet. Two ninety point nine zero for Skyler Leaper. All right, going back to the game. As stretched bed on this truck, six cylinder Cummins under the hood calls it pulling wool. Bauer didn't get the speed at mid-track where he needed it to carry that momentum out there. Looks like Colby Seth's going to get out of here with a win this afternoon. We'll wait for that official distance on Ryan Bauer out of Lewisburg, but Colby Seth was the only truck in the class to go beyond 300 feet. Two hundred eighty-five point one six feet Dodge pickup. In the number three spot is Ryan Stahl out of Claremont, Missouri, with the spooled-up Chevy. Coming in fourth, Skyler Leeper out of California, Missouri, the legal limits truck. And in the number five spot, Ryan Bauer out of Lewisburg, Kansas, with a Kansas Salt-sponsored machine. And in the sixth spot was Brent Jureski out of Ceresco, 